June 2021 may have some new reveals thanks to a new set of images and art from the upcoming RPG. This new artwork gives us a better idea of what the Emperor could look like in the potential second film, alongside elements and characters introduced in the first film, such as the Bene Gesserit, and much more. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the new images and artwork, giving you a chance to see it yourself, alongside presenting my own thoughts towards it. Before I get into it though, if you want to see much more videos on June leading up to its release date, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like rating. But without further ado, let's dive into the new images and art for the Dune RPG. So the new artwork that is presented in this video all comes from the Dune Adventures in the Imperium game, which is based on Denis Villeneuve's Dune. It's important to start off by noting that the images you are about to see include visuals and elements which may be slightly different in the film. What we know, however, is that these are based off Denis Villeneuve's film to some degree, so there will be many comparisons and it does give us a rough idea of what we could be seeing come October if the film does release then. Also, I believe that some of these visuals were designed by an artist called Amir Zand and also by other artists whose art is being used in this Dune RPG. So if you want to see more that they post, then I would recommend supporting some of them on their social media pages and I will be linking Amir Zand's in the description down below because these images are really stunning pieces of work that deserve more credit. Also, the posts that Secrets of Dune put on social media were ones that made me more aware of this work over the last few weeks, so I would recommend checking out what he posts, as he's always keeping up to date on all the Dune news surrounding adaptations and the upcoming film. I will leave links in the description to Secrets of Dune, Amir Zan's Twitter page, and also a link to the Dune RPG, which is supposed to be releasing soon, so don't forget to check all of them out. But starting off with the first few images, we get a sense of the visual style and colouring that will be used to display the Bene Gesserit. We get a look at a few of the ships, alongside their symbol on the side of it, and this goes in correlation with the shot we saw in the trailer last year. Now of course that shot could have just been a highliner with guild navigators, but it does seem to mirror the Bene Gesserit, and having now seen this art in the game, with their symbol on the side of the ship, it will be interesting to see how this might correlate into the film. The other image we get from the RPG art includes a shot of the Bene Gesserit learning under the supervision of the Reverend Mother. What I like about both of these opening visuals is that we get a sense of the mysterious atmosphere being portrayed, alongside the abstract use of purple, which we have seen in many concept arts and set pictures for the film so far. If you remember, we had an image of an ornithopter revealed on set which had this almost Blade Runner type feel with its use of purple colouring. We'll have to see how they portray the Bene Gesserit in the film, but these do give us a better idea of their visual appearance, including their clothing and of course ships. Moving on, we also get three other images of Arakeen during different times in the story. The first clearly shows the large desert city at night, sitting largely on a mass of bedrock. We also see more of the protection afforded by the shield wall, preventing any incursions from sandworms. Then we have some images of the battle, which we got glimpses at in the original trailer. They show Arakeen burning alongside the Karyals, and it really is another stunning look at what we can expect from this famous scene in the book. 
Again, I'm loving the use of colours in all of these images so far, as like the Benny Gesserit ones with the use of purple and blacks, here we get a mix of orange flames with the dark blue of night. It's something Denis Villeneuve is really good at in all of his films, as he tries to create an atmosphere and tone that matches the characters and what is going on in a particular scene. The art definitely reflects that, and it's cool to see a different take on what we may be getting in the film. Alongside this, the next few images show us a different look at a potential world from the book, and this time we look to be getting a visual sense of what Gady Prime will look like in Denis Villeneuve's Dune universe. This is obviously the historical homeworld of House Harkonnen, and we see the heavy industrialisation of the planet on display. This hasn't been confirmed, but some have pointed it out, and to me, it does look like the Harkonnen world. I think after seeing how Denis brought to life the dystopian atmosphere of the cities in Blade Runner 2049 for instance, this is a promising piece of art which displays what we could be getting in Dune's world to a similar degree. There was another extra piece of artwork on top of this that displays the Harkonnen deploying ships, so we have begun to get a more extended look at House Harkonnen and the different elements. It's amazing to see this considering we've only had one trailer for the film and not much shots of the Harkonnens, so this really is an intriguing deep dive into their designs. Before we get to the main image of the Emperor, there were also three other photos and these show brief shots of an Atreides with a helmet and lasgun, alongside a first look at the guild in a clean white costume, and a visual of the Atreides training. So with all of these images, we start to get a picture of the world that Denis is building, and how artists have been inspired to create art for the RPG game based off the designs. I think all of the use of styles, shapes and colours gives us a deeper idea of the tone that is going to be on display this October. But the last image to discuss is the one that many have questioned, and ones that fans of Dune wanted to see. In this visual we get a clear look at the potential Emperor of the second film, if that film comes to fruition. The Emperor is sitting on the Lion Throne, with the symbol of House Carino engraved into the surface behind him, and stylized onto the throne itself. It's great to see the use of gold and purple in the designs, but one thing to note is that this design probably has the most potential to change of all of the images presented. This is because we are still a long while away from even knowing if there will be a second film. It's likely we won't see the Emperor in the first film too, but of course the designs and style of what is on display here is something that will most likely carry through in some degree to that potential sequel. We'll have to see, but this image of the Emperor definitely gets me excited for what's to come, and to be honest, I just hope that if this film is great, we could see another, and of course the Emperor as well. Really, it's down to the box office performance, but I do think that this first Dune film will be a completely different animal to Denis Villeneuve's last film, Blade Runner 2049. But they were the newest looks at some of the characters and locations for Denis Villeneuve's Dune. Again, this is subject to change, and I'm sure the films will approach some of these aspects in a slightly different way, but because they are based on the film releasing this year, and a potential second film, it's interesting to get an idea of how some of these characters and elements will look like in the upcoming project. I'm hoping we will start to get some more information surrounding the film soon, alongside a second trailer which we are all anticipating, but this new look at some artwork for the RPG does keep the excitement flowing. We'll have to see, but so far, things are looking good for the new adaptation of Frank Herbert's world, and hopefully we will be able to see it on the big screen later this year too. 
But let me know down below in the comment section what you personally think towards this artwork. And again, I would recommend checking out the artist's work as they really deserve so much more credit. For more videos surrounding June leading up to its release this year, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like rating. I will be covering news and topics for June whenever new information comes out, alongside continuing my Road to June series in the next few weeks, so look out for all of these uploads. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.